What is happening guys? Um, we are going to do a YouTube uh, video, which I haven't done yet on the ProFetch page, just because busy and yeah, fucking busy. Um, so today we have got at Shreds, we've got three of my guys that are competing next week in the British finals. We've got Landon and Tom with both men's physique. Um, and we have got uh, Sam who is in classic, okay? All looking savage, all looking absolutely fucking on. Um, these boys have done shows uh, like over the last couple of weeks, so they've been ready for a while, um, which obviously makes the prep into this, this big one, the British finals, um, a, 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 much smoother, a much smoother landing for, for all three of them. Um, because like I said, yeah, they're all ready. Um, so they're all going into the show nice and fresh, or as fresh as they could be. And um, so yeah, it's, it's exciting. I think um, I think this British kind of, as I am an old fucker, you know, it's always been about, for me, with bodybuilding, it's like the British, the British finals every single year. Um, years and years and years, even in the, in the days of um, the older federation that was linked with the UKBFF, um, it's always been about the fucking British. It's just got something about it. And um, yeah, I'm super fucking excited to get these boys on stage next week. So uh, let's take a look at them. Okay, so this is my man Sam Oodle. We call him the fridge. Uh, um, in his off season, this man can play. He can put food away anytime, really. But uh, especially in his off season, this guy does not moan once when calories are super, super high. That's why we call him the fridge. And he looks like a fucking fridge. Um, Sam is class C, uh, classic. Um, he's already done. Let me put over. He's already done um, a regional. Then we did Sweden. Um, what was your experience like in Sweden? Uh, one, of, one of the best experiences I've ever had, man. It was uh, absolutely incredible. The whole, the whole show, the, the sense of community is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've never been to a show like it. It's uh, yeah. I knew, I, I knew, I knew. Uh, obviously, being with uh, um, Fiddy Eight and Gasp, um, I knew that the uh, that the Sweden show was going to be a fucking fantastic stage. I knew what they, I knew how they ran it. I knew the stage from last year, and I knew this. This was obviously Sam's first ever international show. Um, so um, first pro qualifier. First pro qualifier. So. Um, but make sure that your first one's going to be one that yeah. you, you enjoy. Um, and uh, we didn't do too bad. No, we didn't no, do too bad at all, did we? We was there was 16 in the class. 16 in the class. Um, we had he got pulled out for top three, pulled back, and then when they came back for the finals, uh, we got bumped out to fifth, didn't we? They, they made them work again, and we ended up getting we ended up getting bumped out to fifth, and just sort of lost fullness. We, we uh, it was it was hard to watch because as I'm watching it, I'm thinking we should have done more food and we needed more water. <laughs> and you could just see yourself fading, fading as they were. Because normally, when you go out to the the finals, it's like normally you go out and nine times out of ten you're going out to get the results. 
but this time they made you work. There was two classes out the whole day that they made on uh, go, when they went back out because it must have been close. Um, and uh, you, you were made for work for another what, 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah. 15, 20 minutes. And you could see him fading as they were doing it, and it was like, no, no, no. But, you know, it's uh, lessons learned, and um, we're going to be taking a, a whole different game package, should we say, to, uh, um, to the finals. Um, so, for me, what are you most looking forward to with the British, and what are your expectations, sir? Well, actually, seeing uh, the setup of the British, actually, I'm looking forward to that whole um, experience again. And then, uh, expectation-wise, I uh, obviously everyone wants to win their class. Everyone wants to win their class, but I'll uh, I'll be I'll be happy to get top. Yeah, so what, what are, you go top on. Three. Yeah, top three. Top three. Yeah. Top three. Top three. And I, and I, and I Jim, what I like about what I like about Sam. There's a lot of things I like about Sam, <laughs> but he's very humble. He's very humble. He's not one that screams and shouts. I'm going to get this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to win it. He understands it. He's new to competing. Um, uh, this is our second two and a half years working together. Uh, three years working together. Uh, time flies when you're having fun. Um, three years working together, and the progression that this man's made from then until now has been yeah. fucking absolutely bonkers. Um, What's good, like I said, he's humble, he's never screaming and shouting about pro cards this and I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, but he's got a physique that can. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the main thing. For me as a coach, I'm telling you now, this is a man who is destined for this fucking sport. Um, even in classic alone, I think we've got like, I mean, what's this morning, 200 pounds? Uh, you still got yeah, eight, 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 nine, nine more nine, pounds. We've still got nine, nine pounds to play with and that's him 200 because we've just trialled a little bit of a um, a little bit of a, uh, a mock um, peak, shall we say? Um, and we've woken up this morning at 200 pounds, nice and full, nice and dry. So there's a lot of room to play in this fucking class for Sam. Um, so I mean, as you know, like you know, the majority of, of, of classic guys are screaming, uh, scraping, and fucking doing everything that they can to make weight um, right at the end. Um, so yeah, it's. it's Sam's destined for, for this sport, whether it's classic or open or 2-1-2, two, two, we fucking don't know, but at the minute we love classic, and at the minute that's what we're pursuing, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't, I don't, that's, that's, that's Sam, that's Sam. One more question. How was prep been? No, yeah, well, well, prep's prep. It's never gonna be easy. You never expect it to be easy when you do it, but uh, I've, I've, enjoyed, I've enjoyed it again. You know, it's, uh, at times it's been rough, at times it has been, but for, for, you just got to do what do what you do. For, for for anyone for anyone who's for anyone who's never competed before, is a question for you because it's all good coaches telling you what to expect, what to do this. But when it comes from, I mean, I've been through it. I've been through prep many a times, and so what I what I say about what to expect is 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 legit. It's true. It's from experience myself and it's experience with others. But it's always nice to get from a. From one of my athletes' perspective, if you was if you was to tell anyone what to expect going into a first prep, what do you say? Um, expect it all to be be brutal. Tell them the yeah, 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 yeah. At, at the start, it will it will be fine, and it will just get hard. And when you when you think when you think it's real hard, you're you're about to find out it gets a whole lot of worse, <laughs> a whole lot of worse. And it is. It's just how it is. To get, I've I've always said even. Uh, even well, even for me, there's uh, there's being ready for a competition, and there's being ready for a competition, and I think that's two different things. That it's all uh, subjective, I suppose. Yeah. But um, is it worth it? Is it, is, it, is it worth it? Is it worth all the hard work? Yeah, I'd say so. Those, <laughs> no, I, I, that's why I love it. Yeah. I can't, I can't say I enjoy the feeling rough and the, the late, especially the last six weeks. I can't say I enjoy it, but that moment I'm on stage, that moment. That moment on stage, facing the crowd, it's nothing compares to that. That's because uh, you because uh, you do it for the right reasons, bro. Yeah. You're not doing it for fucking Instagram. You're not doing it for any other reason. No, no. You're doing it for you. Yeah. Then that's something to, that you need to uh, that you need to, to get your head around. It makes um, it so much easier. It, it makes it a lot easier if you're actually doing this for the right fucking reasons and not fucking Instagram followers and fucking Instagram likes. That's done. Yeah. yeah. Amen to that. Yeah. 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 So much pressure. That's definitely working by the way.
it doesn't look as flat, you know what I mean? It looks a little bit more 3D. Let's go run it again. things like looking at your pose in there so you go to this here so when you do this yeah so when you go like that I always like hold it and just fucking look at the judges and fucking look at the fucking look at this yeah because that looks gnarly mate everything's fucking popping and then open up into that shot yeah all right Okay, so next on the roster of the Avengers, we have Mr. Tom C. Um, Tom is a OG of the men's physique, well, especially since I've been around anyway. Uh, so when I used to compete back in the days uh, of the, um, the other federation, UKBFF, um, it, um, before obviously all, trans I think I said that up there, before we'll transition to, to two bros, Towards MPC, um, the uh, Tom was competing back then, and he was always winning back then, always in the mix back then, um, always looking fucking savage back then. Um, so we've, I've always, I've always followed Tom's journey um, on social media and stuff from back then, and um, it wasn't till recent we did an off season together. Yeah. There's no season together, um, and then obviously we've just had our first season. We are still having our first season together, which is coming to coming to an end uh, next week. The first season, and so Tom, tell Tom, by the way, Tom's men's physique, and he is class C. Um, how as how has your last shows gone this season? So we've had the regional, well, we've had two regionals, two regionals, two regionals and um, pro qualifier in Sweden. Now we've got the British, so tell us a little bit about how that's been, how that's been so far and what's your expectations for the British, bro? Yeah, so we, uh, first off we've done is the TBF, really. no, MK. MK. MK first, a um, little bit early, a yeah. bit early, yeah. um, no expectations, just went, enjoyed it, it was good, good fun. Uh, then we moved on to the TBF, yeah. took second place, won the MK, first place. Sent the stage for the overall, but didn't get the overall. Um, then we done the TBF from second place to the lad that then went on to win the overall. And then we went to Sweden, and uh, <coughs> amazing experience. First abroad show. Um, Zach obviously come with us as well, which was massive. Which I find, I find, I actually find it amazing. Not amazing. I actually find it fucking surprising that's the word surprising that that was your first international show yeah that's what's yeah, surprising I, I, it's something i wanted to do for a long time just so it just never happened yeah. i think with the um we're now having a coach that's so supportive willing to come with me i think before it was the thought of going and not knowing what to do with water and all this sort of stuff and i got a coach that's experienced in that so supportive with me and uh i needed to not just be doing one pro qualifier yeah i needed to so I've done 14 shows now, nine times first place. So I've been close a lot. Just needed to have a run. Um, and I, that's why I moved to Zach as well. I wanted a good, experienced men's physique coach that I got trust in to try and take me to the next level, really. So, yes, yeah, so we went to Sweden. Great, best thing I've ever been involved in, show-wise. It was amazing. Um, and what happened? Become uh, second again. Come, come second again. To the guy that won the overall. To the guy that won the overall. Won the overall, won the pro card. Which was a which, shout out, look, freshy. Well done, well done for your pro card, buddy. Well yeah, it was, uh, another English lad out yeah. in Sweden, done brilliant. Yeah, so close, so many times. Yeah. But uh, yeah. 
and it was and, and it was it was it was closer. It was it was it was fucking closer. Yeah. One, of the, one of the judges told us that she had you she had you she had you winning. Obviously, head judge said it was close. Second. Head judge said it was it was it was close. So we're 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 nearly there. Yeah. We're we're, ne we're we're nearly there. Would you say? In fact, I won't say that. I'll, I'll ask the question of what's been your best ever package you brought to the stage. Three to hundred percent ever. But by I agree. Bob, by a country mile, the posing, the look, the confidence, yeah. everything. Yeah. Everything just sort of went right. We yeah. we looked at the TBS. We need realised I need to change a bit of posing. Yeah. Yeah. Package was good. Posing let me down. So we changed that. Coming a little bit, a little bit drier, a little bit tighter, didn't we, in Sweden? And that's sort of what we'd like to mimic yeah. for the British yeah. final. Final, finally, expectations for the British. Um, we. I'm, gonna, I'm going to win. I'm going yeah. to. Yes. I think it's my time. It's time to go win it. Yeah. I think on a big stage. I suit a big stage. And, uh, yeah, I'm going not just for the class. I want to go for the overall. I'm going, going for the, the card. Yeah. It's a message for anyone. It's a message for anyone who's doing that fucking show. Be ready, because if you're not, you're gonna look fat. Because it's mad. It's fucking peeled. As well as another one we got. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Savage. Good. British. We have got another one by the way, I don't want to miss him out, um, Mido, he's coming over to the UK um, on Monday so we'll, we'll get him involved at some point um, over, the, over the week, when, possibly when we're at the show. But uh, anyway, third Avenger of today is LK, Landon Knight. Yo. Um, Landon is a, had a very successful season last year. Very successful last year. Uh, very successful last year. He got his uh, PCA Pro card last year, yeah. which was pretty, cra pretty crazy because that was never the plan. It was just a show because it was on his doorstep. Um, but, um, but yeah, took a PCA Pro card last year. Um, overall, overall um, talk and through your show. Talk, talk and through your last year's last year, last year's show. Yeah, so last year's show, uh, we just planned to do the two bros regional and then the two bro British finals. Uh, but all of that changed as we went along. So the PCA Universe show was literally, as Zach said, on my doorstep in Coventry, um, two minutes down the road. So, and we were ready kind of two, three weeks before the Two Bros Regional. So, and that's when this was. So it was like, oh, let's just go do a warm up show. Ain't been on stage in three years. 2019 was the last time we got on stage at the Two Bros British Finals before that. So um, yeah, it was like, let's just go do a warm up show won the overall on the Saturday and then qualified for the finals on the Sunday when I won the pro card um, on the Sunday, done my first pro show. Um, then we went on to two bros, two, three weeks after I think yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the original Pan Regional. Uh, won the high class there and then switched from doing the British finals to go and do Portugal, the Amateur Olympia in Portugal, which was my first time competing abroad. Um, and yeah, that, that, that was the end. That was the end of that season. Really, we didn't decide to do the British after that. Yeah, it was a, it was a it was a savage package that we brought to, to, to Portugal. It was just a realization that the the, 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 sta the, the, yeah. the standard the standard when you you're going for these pro qualifiers is um, 
that's not to say that, that we weren't going to be in the mix because we thought we thought well, we were we thought we were going to be in, and fourth, 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 we got fourth, fourth in the high class yeah. out of like eighteen, I think it was. Yeah, so was, so it, was a, it was a it was a large it was a large class of eighteen, and he, he got four. So he was certainly in, he was certainly in the mix, and certainly confirmed what we knew that you know the, 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 the ability was, was there, the potential was there, the potential was there, yeah. Um, and um, but then we 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 knocked it on the head there, went into an off season, and. Uh, here we are this year. You've just done your, you just done the TBF takedown, won that class into the overalls where you were battling with the in the middle with the uh, with the overall winner. So second, so it is getting closer and closer and closer. The British, what's your expectation? Profile Sunday, don't I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going for, I ain't going okay. for nothing less. Okay. I ain't going for nothing less, man. I ain't going for nothing less. So, so, uh, so that's it. We've got two people that are going for the win at the Avengers um, in the men's physique. So that'll be uh, good to watch. That'll be good to watch. Um, again, Alke is notorious for his conditioning, just as Tom is. These boys are absolutely fucking peeled. Um, and um, again, you need to turn up next. You need to turn up at the British because these these boys are. These boys are fucking peeled. Um, and I'll probably finish this off just letting everyone know, which you probably know already. Obviously, Landon is part of Team Pro Coach. Uh, he, is a, he is a coach um, amongst, amongst the, uh, the best team in the UK. And, um, um, and um, whatever happens after this British, it'll be knocked on the head um, into his, in, so he can focus on Building, building himself within the uh, the pro coach family, and um, and then we'll go again next year, whether yeah. it's a, as a pro or not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But uh, that is okay. We'll get back to our session. <laughs> Okay, so that is a wrap. That is all the lads, um, all the lads seen. I'm very happy with all of them. Um, it is a case of cruising into the final week now. Like I said at the start, they've already, they're all, fatigue has been removed. They're all in a good place. Like I'm very, 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 very excited for next week. Okay, I hope everyone's enjoyed the, uh, the little video. I'll try and get more, but I ain't gonna promise. <laughs>